Okay, Matt, a nil nil draw here at Truro tonight. What was your assessment of the, the game? Well, it was a proper game of football. I just said to my, my centre hours and the defensive units, um, they probably had to deal with more aerial balls than the most. Um, they, we'll have to in, in pre-season really they had a big centre forward so they certainly put the ball down our throats but I was really pleased with that uh, again we stood up to the physical side of it because let's be honest a lot of League 2 football is a, is a big physical aspect uh, it's probably a better game than you're expecting definitely right? definitely look the manager took over I think 10 hours ago um, it, it, late last night or this morning even, um, but the players obviously wanted to impress him, and rightly so. Um, a manager comes into a football club, the players are, are desperate to impress, um, and there was a lot of trialists out there as well, so look, I, I'm sure Troy will have a successful season um, this season, but... When you believe everything is possible, Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. No much talking today, straight into my highlights. <laughs> this match ended up 0-0 in a draw and it was a really good match for us especially because it was the first time that we new players played together and for that it was our first time we did I think really well. And most of the video I need to credit Exeter City YouTube channel so go and subscribe to them but here are the highlights and hard work pays off there's still some improvements to do but we keep going and going and going game starts and I really enjoyed the game because I was fit and when you're fit it's just different but here I received the ball and I was very confident in that game and I tried to dribble through to get a shot but I was blocked but I think I had a pretty good start in the game and here I just react quicker because I'm on my toes and I create a chance because here you can see that I just react quick and I'm quicker than him and pass it to my teammate but he shoots wide and in this match 
I put a lot of flickers because when you're six foot six, you have a high tower up front. You need to make it as an advantage because here I create another chance through my flick. And here again, I let the ball this time off and I'm quick enough to get to the ball, dribble through and he clears it to the sideline. But I had a pretty good start in the game, so I felt very, very comfortable. And here again, I win another flick. And unfortunately, we don't win the ball. And then another flick. And of course, what I've learned in the last couple of weeks is to bring it down. Of course, like here, for example, throw in, com compose and calm to bring it down and you will see during the match that not every long boss I try to just put a flick on it for example here I received the ball and you would not expect that from a tall guy but there I have good feet footwork and I lay it back calm and composed and then here I think this is the biggest chance in the game that I had from a corner somehow it bounced back to me and I shoot but I should take my laces I think I need to practice shooting with my laces because somehow I don't like using my laces because it would be a goal it would be really nice second half I'm there and then I try to bring it down but this guy like fouls me and I still have pain <laughs> from it <laughs> here win the ball bring it down and then dribble through and he fouls me so in this game i was fouled a lot of times and then here i do a great run and he puts it perfectly into the space but i need to bring it down with my left foot i don't even know why i do it with my right foot but because if i bring it down and then one on one with the keeper and it's a goal that's what we need to practice. And then here I do a flick and I create a chance, but he shoots it to the keeper. And then here I'm up front, but then I come short because I just, yeah, have a touch. Yeah, win it back. Yeah, so as a striker, you need to really take care of your movements too. You have to know when to come short, when to come long. And just hold the ball and here i come short and i hold off the defender hold the ball calm lay it back but unfortunately we lose the ball there and then because i have an advantage being six foot six and being a center back as well i clear the ball there on the goal line and then here the thing is why english football is so often with long balls and why they like tall center forwards is because in England like they like to play direct and here long ball and then I'm quick but he gets his foot so to a corner but what I said is because here in English football there's a long, lot of long balls it's because like England players they just like to play direct and then here I clear it with my head so this is me being a center back. <laughs> Bam. And then I win another flick. And the next game, what we need to improve is from my flicks, we need to get a man around me. Here I bring it down and then play it back a bit high, but he reacts to it good. And then here I come short again touch the, the like the pitch was really bouncing but there I have a I have a touch and then try to play it back and he fouls me and then here just simply holding the ball good footwork good footwork and then he fouls me it looks like I fouled him but he fouls me because from that foul we're gonna get a free kick and this is another chance that I can score but it's a good block because otherwise I would be a hero and score the winner. And after the match the manager said that obviously me being six foot six a tall center center forward like um, they had to deal with it and 
yeah so the fact that he just mentions me it says it all that i've done all right of course there are things to improve but we keep going and tuesday next match against league one club plymouth argyle was the highlights and as you see there are a couple things that I've done all right and a couple things where I had to score but we just keep going we just keep going because hard work pays off definitely I'm on my way to training because what happens today will come out in two days because many many people ask me how many days behind am I two days but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. And keep in mind, when you believe, everything is possible. So team run now. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow.